People know about the investigation underway into an alleged gang in your department known as the Executioners. A former deputy alleges that this celebrated shootings of civilians. You know, Sheriff, what is being done to address what is clearly deep distrust, deep distrust in in that in your community with with law enforcement? Well, I can say that the, the distrust is in a very narrow segment of the community. If you're talking about losses, you're talking about anything like that. There are no gangs within the department. And let's not let's let's get that off the table. Hmm. Well, a lie detector test has determined that uh, that is a lie. <laughs> Actually, there was no lie detector test, mm -hmm. but there has been a special counsel report done on the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, and it turns out that the ex Los Angeles Sheriff Alex Villanueva was lying. So this is the Civilian Oversight Commission's special counsel. And their findings are damning to say the least. So let's get into a few of the details here. The report points out that gang members have been part of various policing departments in Los Angeles since the early 1970s. And they continue to have an influence. So there are at least, get a load of this, a half dozen and possibly more deputy gangs and deputy cliques currently in the department, primarily at patrol stations. They include the executioners, the banditos, the regulators, the Spartans, the gladiators, the cowboys, and the reapers. So there are several gangs within the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, according to this report by the special counsel. The report claims that a former LA uh, that the former LA sheriff Alex Villanueva perpetuated this in the department during his tenure. I remember this being a big story at the time because he hired certain folks that had certain tattoos, uh, while the prior sheriff publicly asserted that he had acted to eliminate deputy gangs. In fact, he facilitated their continued presence by appointing known tattooed members of deputy gangs and deputy cliques to leadership positions in the department, permitting the revival of emblems signifying membership in such groups and repeatedly relying upon an erroneous statement of law to avoid promulgating and enforcing a policy prohibiting deputy gangs and deputy cliques in the department. I do want to go to one more video on this that I think is telling. So in speaking about the findings of their report, the special counsel discussed the impact this has had on deputies who are not part of any of these gangs. Let's watch. The investigation has revealed that these gangs by their operation make daily life for the deputies more dangerous. Non-gang members fear the power and sanctions of the gangs. Imagine working in a law enforcement organization in which members who do not belong to a gang are ostracized, assaulted, left without requested backup, and exist in fear that if they speak truth, they'll have dead rats placed on their doorstep. The department appears as an organization in which disfavored deputies have the lug nuts of their cars loosened. They are followed home for purposes of intimidation, including after they have testified before this very commission. Deputies have had their careers halted or disrupted by being forced to leave a desirable position for personal safety concerns when told by gang members, we don't like you. An organization like that, a Sheriff's department like that has no interest in keeping the public safe. Yeah. And I mean, the, the, what really stood out to me, John, in that statement was some of these deputies would be interviewed for this report, for this investigation, and then they would turn around and engage in acts of intimidation against other deputies again. Insane. But it's this is this is a reality. This is what's happening within the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Yeah, and the fact that it's you know gone on for decades and decades and decades. And why wouldn't it? The they take over leadership positions. They have people like Villanueva, who obviously is perfectly fine. Not just like tolerating the existence, but when you are like changing regulations to allow the use of emblems, you are comparatively welcoming to yes. gang activity. You are normalizing it uh, culturally inside of it. Uh, look, anyone who speaks out against it. Is that's incredibly brave, 
I, I don't even, I can't even imagine what it's like to undergo the sort of intimidation that I'm sure they are. And my like my knee jerk thing that I almost was gonna say is when when you hear about all the different tactics that the gangs use to try to enforce the social order, it like I'm inclined to say that this is like we refer to it as gangs, but this is not like a colloquial thing. It's the exact same thing as a gang, but it's not the exact same thing as a gang. Because they're legally allowed to kill people in a lot of situations. They're in a position to cover up the evidence of crimes that are committed. They have influence over internal investigations and all that. This is way worse than a regular gang yep. because the things that regular gangs do are illegal and presumably even the cop gangs might have a problem with them. They are in an elevated privileged position over all other gangs. That's exactly right. I mean. So who polices the gang members within the sheriff's department, right? I mean, if ordinary people decide to join gangs and commit acts of violence as a result of that, I mean, technically we're supposed to have a justice system that brings them to justice. But what happens with the sheriff's department when it's infiltrated with various gangs, which seems to be the case based yeah. on this report. And so it leads to more distrust toward law enforcement at a time when people you know, in poll after poll say that they're concerned about crime, they want to feel safe, but they don't trust for good reason these deputies. How could you? Especially when you know the long history of what they've done, when you know the long history of gang involvement within the sheriff's department. And so all those people need to be rooted out of the sheriff's department entirely and potentially based on evidence of potential criminality, they should face charges. Yeah. It's gonna be very difficult to do that, getting people to actually speak out against them, even if they know who they are. Terrified of what could happen. They're terrified of what could happen if they give an interview. How terrified would they be of what would happen if there was a rounding up and charges levied against dozens of members of the organization? Difficult. And by the way, this comes at a time when there's a shortage of deputies in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And this is something that other departments are experiencing all across the country, it's not just LA. And they're having difficulty recruiting new deputies because no one wants to be a cop. I mean, gee, I wonder why. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm assuming a lot of people who probably on some level have an interest or would be perfectly fine, perfectly acceptable to engage in this. Do you wanna be surrounded by the reapers and the executioners? Exactly, and that's the point I'm trying no, to make. No, I don't exactly. think that you do. Right. Yeah. But but at the very least, the distrust that you're talking about is from a narrow segment of society. <laughs> that's what I was told. No. From um, a person in a position to know. It, we're in a dire situation when you might be a victim of a crime and you don't know who to call <laughs> because you don't trust the authorities. Yeah. And there's a good reason for why they don't trust the authorities. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.